I'm the only one who knows the secret. Basically, any country that had resources that our corporations coveted, I or other economic hitmen would visit. And we'd end up arranging a huge loan to that country from the World Bank or one of its sister organizations. But the money never actually went to the country. Instead, it would go to our own corporations to build infrastructure projects in that country. Power plants, industrial parks, highways, ports, things that would benefit a few of the very wealthy families in that country, as well as our corporations. But not the majority of the people who are too poor to buy electricity or drive cars on highways or use ports. And industrial parks don't hire many people. And yet, they would be left holding a, a massive debt that they couldn't repay. So at some point, uh, we'd go back to the country and say, hey, since you can't pay your debts, uh, give us your resources real cheap, like oil. Sell us your oil real cheap to our oil companies without any environmental restrictions. Or allow us to build a military base on your soil. Or vote with us on the next critical United Nations vote. And in the few cases when we fail, then the jackals go in and they either overthrow governments or assassinate their leaders. And the idea being that very inexpensively we can take over a country and its resources. We can basically bring it into our secret empire simply uh, by this way of manipulating finances and economics and getting the country under our control. The old system of, of conquering other lands uh, is very expensive and very dangerous, actually. And so if you can do it this more subtle way, it's, it's what you know, the United States discovered back in the 50s that this was a much easier, safer, less expensive way to take over other countries.